I'm at a stage now where his face is getting a little greasy from us spending a little time and the shine's coming through and I want to get rid of the shine. So Skin Illustrator has um, an Ultra Matte HD matting spray. We're going to spray this. This is also going to help put a, a film on the gels that I can continue to add. I can add more gels. It's not going to hurt. Yeah. Since shine is um, another makeup tool that you can use to show highlights, if I matte everything and then I can put the shine specifically where I want it and it'll give highs and lows. I think we can see a big difference with the shine gone. So we're going to continue. We're going to make this bruise a little older, adding their bright yellow. Another great color is rust. We have other great colors like the bruise green and teal and there's also the bruised blue. Okay. And then the other thing I would do is put some shine on him. Just a simple character makeup with a gelatin appliance using both uh, gels from Skin Illustrator and Skin Illustrator um, colors. One of the great advantages of having the Illustrator glazes and gels as opposed to just normal Illustrator is working around the eyes or sensitive areas. You can use either one of them close. I use the alcohol around the eyes all the time. But I have worked with a number of actresses who aren't very keen on having that near their eyes and that's quite understandable. So now I have the gels as an alternative. The other thing is it allows you to use both the gels and the illustrator in a layering properties because you have a water base and then you have an alcohol base. And that's also advantageous as to how you build the work you're doing.